Hello everyone, it is Miss L101 or Lisa here. Today we are going to enjoy digital novel studies. So these are like your basic novel packets that you can buy off of Teachers Pay Teachers, but in a way more exciting way for the students to use technology. So let's look at what I've got going on. Let's look at an older novel study that we have. Now, this is what it looks like. I just use Google Slides and I have purchased several Number of the Stars packets from Teachers Pay Teachers that are the workbook packets that you have. And instead of just printing off 44 or 45 copies, because that's how many students I have, um, I decided to try and make as much of it digital as I can. Let's take a look at what the students see. So this was all made pretty easily. Google uh, Sites has their own kind of themes that you can choose from and layouts and suggestions. So this is just my home page, my welcome page. And this is the number of the star study that we just finished before break. I have a vocabulary tab and I went ahead and I gave them the definitions for each vocabulary word essentially and they had some sort of activity for each chapter so a lot of it was use the word write down the definition uh, use it in a sentence or draw a picture to represent the meaning and then they had to share with their partners or their groups and that was really fun to see their creativity most of them chose to draw it was really nice um, chapter questions now this is actually the exciting part if you see here, I created uh, chapters or groups one, two, and three. So I did a low, a mid, and a high group. And I hid the other pages in here. And I'll show you what that looks like on the back end as well. So the students were assigned to group one, to group two, or to group three. And when they clicked on their different groups, they had differentiated questions that they could answer using Google Forms. So let's go back and let's look at the look at the back end of what this site looks like from the teacher's perspective. So if you look here, we have insert and pages and themes. After making this home page, I had click here, but there was no link to them. I made pages and after making them, I went over here to the three dots and I had a way, let me see, oh no, I didn't right click. I had a way to hide it. And in hiding it, the students weren't able to click on it very easily. And then once they clicked on it, you'll see there was a Google form here that's no longer accepting uh, responses. And that's because we're obviously done with the chapter. But prior to this, the students could see all of the different chapters all the way down. And here's some that are at the end that I have not turned off yet. So the students will see their chapter 13 and 14 questions, what happened to Mrs. Johansson? So they would come in and they'd be logged in using their Google. So this only really works if your students have a Gmail or your school or district has uh, Google as their main email. And in my county, they do. So I made these Google Forms with my own account and then the students are already logged into their own computers, which logs them into Google, and they would type out the answers and I taught them how to copy and paste. I also taught them how to do sentence starters. So what happened to Miss Johansson? Mrs. Johansson blank. What had happened? What had Mr. Rosen dropped? Mr. Rosen had dropped blank. So the students, before we even started our chapter, would highlight and copy, paste, and continue. So each group had a different Google form. Now they varied slightly. So anyone who was in group one, they had a slightly simpler version of the question or just some of the wording was a little bit different. Maybe I set it up to give it a little bit more background knowledge. And then group two was my on grade level group. So they got what was in the packet that came that was on grade level. I really liked the questions of the particular thing I bought off of Teachers Pay Teachers through the questions. And then group three, those are my higher level students. Those are my gifted kids. I have a really high population of gifted this year. So a lot of those times I would uh, give them some of the more complex thinking questions. Why did Anne Marie have to be brave with she met the soldier? So really kind of going outside of the box. And this is just comprehension. Now, 
the big keyword, standards-based work. So everything we want to do is based around the standards, no matter what state you're in. So what I started with was writing down all the standards. And some of the things here are missing because I didn't let the students turn them in all the way. So here I have all the different literature standards. And then I also have text. So our example in class, I would have it projected up. Here's what we're doing together, now it's your turn. So here's your assignment. So when the students were on and they'd click on it, it would pop up to their assignment. And I taught them how to copy and change their name and save it and share it with me when they were done so they could type it all out. And I really pushed typing this year and digital learning. Same thing here, you could kind of see a little bit of something I had inserted. This is their assignment and this is actually um, let's see if it'll let me click. It probably won't. Um, let's see if I can do it here. This is actually their rubric. So they could come here, they could scroll down, and they could see here's my rubric. Your assignment is to write a four sentence response comparing and contrasting Anne-Marie to Kirstie. You must use text evidence, of course, in all bold or, or all caps because, you know, sometimes they need a little reminder. So I also showed them how I would grade them. And I, this is kind of based on something that I've seen on Teachers Pay Teachers before and also using our state different writing techniques, sorry there, different writing rubrics. So it's on a 10 point scale, two points for grammar and uh, pack punctuation capitals and then four points for some of the other details in there. So I really wanted to make sure, and when this was in the middle of the unit, all of these standards had an assignment underneath. Um, and a lot of times the students got some sentence starters. Sometimes if I didn't, a question wasn't working well, like obviously this one, uh, what is the narrator's perspective? Are they in the story? I had to go back and add some things. This is the simple version, by the way. This is not the actual student version. This was my teachable moment. So that is what it kind of looks like. Now, when you're building it, I'm going to show you the one I'm starting next month and all the month of January. We're doing Frindle is a book study and I just started making this. So of course we do have a vocabulary. I'm doing something different. I decided I really liked what the novel study packet that I've used for many, many years to do Frindle with is they have their own activities. So I'm going to use those, but I'm not going to give the definitions to the students. Instead, they are going to use a dictionary website or physical dictionary books. I might vary it depending on the day. Then they come here and their chapter questions. I decided not to differentiate very much on our chapter questions. So as you can see here, I've already got chapters one through three, four through six, seven through nine, and 10 through 12. And I really, and 13 through 15. So actually I did do the whole thing, the whole book. So students are going to be able to answer through their Google form and I will get those populated in Google form, which will be another video. Same thing, standards-based assignment. I need to tweak this a little bit because I don't like all the font and things. So here's some of their assignments. Again, see, you can tell like I'm, this is not done, but you can kind of see, and I've used some of the things from the novel study, and I've actually made these uh, where you can type. And so you see insert, insert, insert. So the students have a text box over that to help them write. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And it's really simple if you just, when you go on to Google, you come on to, you come into new, and you want to go into more, and it is Google Sites. And it'll walk you through step by step. So I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment with what you enjoy doing digitally. Maybe it'll help someone else. Please let me know if you liked this video by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome day, friends.